I was I was looking down the sight on him and I decided I had just enough of a window that I could make a shot. So finally, my favorite part of the calendar is here. It's early November still, um, and we have two tags filled by Dylan in Missouri and Kentucky. Brett's tagged out in Nebraska, and then fortunate for me, my dad was already tagged out in Indiana, so he was willing and able um, to come fill me on my home farm in Indiana, and uh, we were lucky enough to just absolutely square up uh, peak Indiana rut. the 14th of November and uh, we're really fortunate because there's a lot of snow on the ground still but there's a thawed out area right here where all these hedge apples are. And in the past few years these deer have been coming in here and feeding pretty heavily in mid-November on the hedge apple leaves and the hedge apples themselves. We got a thick bedding on both sides of us and then we got a good south wind blowing right up this right up this fence line had quite an adventurous day yesterday. We ended up seeing like 15 deer, a bunch of rut activity, bucks chasing, bucks grunting. Just never saw the right one. So we're gonna pretty much sit here as long as we can today and uh, hope one of these good bucks sneaks in here on us. Well, it's midday, it's about 12.30. We had an excellent morning. Um, quite a bit of movement, um, a lot of bucks. I think we ended up seeing like six bucks. But we, we had one screw up. We had a doe that was coming in and one shooter buck was following her. And we were so focused on the buck that she snuck in and got real close to us and ended up kind of seeing us. And so they just trotted off and he followed her but she was gonna come right in here to these hedge apples. So hopefully they'll come back, but it was kind of a rookie mistake on our part. We, I, I think she might've saw me reaching for my binoculars because I was trying to set them down, but there's a bunch of snow and stuff. And I think just, just as easily as we can see them, they can see us pretty good too. So the movement slowed down a little bit, but uh, I think we're in the right spot today. As, as, uh, as the day goes on, it's going to get a little bit warmer. It's supposed to get up to 40 or 42. So we're hoping one of these good bucks that we have on camera just kind of chooses today's the day to slip up and, and uh, come in here in daylight. So I just checked my phone. It was 1.30 in the afternoon. All of a sudden, I heard that all too familiar crashing. And I already knew what it was. It was a buck chasing a doe. The doe starts running down and she's going directly away from us. And I got my binoculars up, knew it was a shooter buck, and he's right behind her, maybe five or 10 yards behind her. And they're going the other way. I was like, I don't have anything to lose. I hit a couple of loud bleats and a couple of soft grunts. And I kind of lost him down in the, in, the, in the honeysuckle patch. The snow is beginning to melt. Luckily, my dad, from his higher vantage point in the camera stand, was able to get his eyes on him, and all I heard him say over my shoulder was, we got a big buck coming up the hill, and that's kind of when the butterfly started kicking in.
probably drew prematurely on him. But he was so locked in on my grunt call that when he got up here and didn't see any action, I think he was fixing to go back and tend to those does. So I made the decision to get drawn and he lifted his head up right as I drew my bow. And I think he caught me. You know, I was I was looking down the sight on him and I decided I had just enough of a window that I could make a shot. But that's what practice does, that's what the HHA Optimizer Kingpin does for me. That's what the Halon does for me. It's a good buck. I think I think it's a high double log. It was a, it was a touch high, but I got we got a good angle on him up here, and it definitely didn't seem too far forward, or too far back. It seemed right at, right in there above the shoulder. So I didn't hear him crash, but uh, that's a good one, dude. Give me some. That's a good one. wasn't even as high as I thought it was. Um, as always, I want to give a shout out to Hunter's Cloak who worked beautifully for us today, Rogue Bowstrings, uh, is always dependable, and then HHA Sports for uh, everything they do for us. Um, I love that site. I, without that site, this deer would be still roaming the woods. So 41 yard shot for me uh, through a little pinhole opening is about as, uh, as good as it gets. So. Really proud of this deer. I gotta thank my dad for putting all the hard work on this farm, and you know, just uh, just a privilege to come out here and hunt, especially on days like this where it comes together. So we'll get him out of here. It might take us a little longer than than normal, but that's no big deal. 